These striking workers are African migrants who work in southern Italy's tomato fields. Sono lavoratori, pomodoro. 16 of their fellow workers were killed in two separate car accidents earlier this month. The victims were passengers in overcrowded vans, returning from long shifts in the fields. The vans are run by gangmasters known as the Caporali. They act as middlemen for this entire industry, supplying farmers with cheap labour in exchange for a cut of the workers' wages. And because there's no public transport system here, they charge workers for rides to the field, in uninsured vans often driven by overworked migrants. But the workers and the farmers depend on the Caporali, and no one we met was willing to help us find Caporali to speak on camera. But they were frank about how miserable the system can be. Donc sinon c'est difficile ici on vit donc uh, chacun suit son sort n'importe comment mais d'ici à 6h ou 5h on est arrivé au champ on peut travailler jusqu'à 17h jusqu'à 18h deux fois on peut aller jusqu'à 20h deux heures pour celui qui dans le papier appartient mais la chite ne parvient pas à faire 10 heures par jour tu n'auras même pas tu ne rentres pas même pas avec 20 euros par, euh, par euh, avec avec toi à la maison Italy's passed a new law to criminalise the Caporali system as a mafia crime. But the law doesn't penalise the middlemen themselves. It targets farmers, threatening up to eight years in jail for any employer found to be hiring workers through the Caporali. And military police are stepping up their early morning spot checks to see which farms the Caporali vans are going to. Perché prima della riforma della legge lui non aveva conseguenze, quindi poteva continuare a sfruttare il lavoratore cambiando soltanto intermediari. Adesso la legge colpisce direttamente il datore di lavoro, che è obbligato a sottostare anche lui a quelle che sono le regole a tutela del lavoratore. Not surprisingly, the farmers who power this 3.5 billion dollar industry think it's unfair that they're the ones being targeted. Viene preso sotto pomodoro, pomodoro rosso, grande rosso. Tipo questo, no? Enzo Smaccia has 40 acres of tomato fields on land passed down through his family. He insists he pays his workers fairly, but he admits that the industry depends on cheap labour. Why do you have to use the caporali? What would happen if you cut them out? Non li trovi. Loro si fidano soltanto del loro caporale. Perché fra di loro c'è anche molto omertà. How do you respond to people who say that you're part of the problem? You're one of those who's exploiting the migrants and you're responsible for mistreating them. Che non siamo noi sfruttatori e caporalato. Noi siamo persone, umili persone, che la mattina ci alziamo la mattina presto, alle 4 e 5 ci spezziamo la schiena fino alla sera. Lavoriamo dal, dall'alba fino al tramonto per portarci una fetta di pane a casa. Non vanno a vedere, ma l'agricoltore quanto guadagni? Quanto ti viene pagato un chilo di pomodoro da, da pezzo da, da, da mercato? Ludovico Vaccaro is a prosecutor for the region of Foggia, which produces about a third of Italy's processed tomatoes and hosts half a dozen illegal worker camps. It took us less than 24 hours to find the ghettos where migrants are living, and many of them tell us that they don't have the legal papers to be working, yet they're still employed. Eh, bisogna agire su tutti gli attori di questa eh, catena. Le aziende non devono assumere lavoratori in condizioni di sfruttamento e vanno sottoposte a stringenti controlli. Terzo, bisogna fare in modo che i lavoratori non vivano in condizioni di povertà e di irregolarità che alimentano lo sfruttamento. Despite these warnings from local authorities and a police promise to carry out more raids over the coming months, workers like Mohammed think the new rules might even make their situation worse. Do you have faith in this new law? Do you think that it's going to change anything? No. Why? But those who want to live from their share and who don't have paper, how do they want to live? Because the patron now will say that he won't take someone who doesn't have paper. And if he won't take someone who doesn't have paper, he will fall into another chaos. Either it's to be stolen, or to go and ask the others. 